Good day, everyone. I'm meteorologist Adam Kolpak. High pressure is going to be building back into the forecast. And what that means is we're going to have an offshore flow along the coast, but inland areas west of the Cascades here in the Rogue Valley will be dealing with some late night areas of freezing fog and low clouds through the morning hours. And that's going to repeat itself, it looks like, for the next few mornings. Now the lows, well, 30s and 40s along the coastline here. We may see some areas of low clouds and fog, then more sunshine developing during the day for your Saturday. Look at these highs, 50s and possibly 60s with that offshore flow. We could get a Brookings effect. That's the reason why I'm keeping those temperatures a little bit warmer there for Brookings. As we move inland, lows will be in the 20s and low 30s for the most part. We'll have areas of low clouds and fog redevelop overnight through tomorrow morning. Some freezing fog as well. Then more sunshine breaking out during the day. However, the fog may be a little pesky during the morning and sticking around towards Grants Pass and here in Medford. Our highs will mainly be in the 40s and 50s as the sunshine comes back. And east of the Cascades, lows will be in the single numbers and teens with mainly fair skies. We're going for 27 though for Crater Lake. Your high temperatures will be in the 30s and 40s, possibly getting closer to 50 for Alturas with plenty of sunshine. Seven day forecast for the Rogue Valley. As I said, we're going into the pattern of late night and morning areas of fog and freezing fog and then more sunshine developing. Clouds increasing on Monday, a chance for rain showers Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday. And then for the Klamath Basin, we have highs mainly in the 40s, lows in the uh, teens for the next few mornings, more sunshine overall. So starting off chilly, but then back into the 30s and 40s for highs Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday with the chance for rain and snow showers. Mount Shasta City, you have highs mainly in the 50s, lows in the 20s and 30s. Chance for rain showers Tuesday and Wednesday, maybe rain or snow showers for Thursday. And for the coast, if you're heading to the coast this weekend, actually it's looking pretty good. You have temperatures in the 50s, possibly 60s as well, especially for Brookings. Areas of fog will be possible outside of that. We'll see more sunshine. Your lows will be in the 30s and 40s and the chance for rain and rain showers Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday.